Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. So today we are going to continue on with our DCS Liberation tutorial and we're going to go ahead and start buying some units. Alright, so we haven't started the campaign officially yet. There's still a button that says begin campaign, but I believe if we click on insert click here, we can begin to purchase units. And you're going to want to do this before you hit begin campaign because the second you hit begin campaign, that is going to be turn one. Alright, so first thing we want to think about is, you know, we already talked about, you know, which different uh, squadrons we were going to have. We have selected which bases that they're going to be flying out of, and so it's up to us now to determine uh, what we want to buy and where. So if we go ahead over here, you'll see that we don't have anything over here. Uh, if we go over here, I think it's NTEP, we can get some Apaches. Uh, we got some helicopters, right? So let's get some Let's get some helicopters. Let's buy like four of them. We also need some frontline units because we have nothing here. So I'm going to purchase those first. So let's get like 20 Abrams, a couple Paladins. I'm going to get some Humvees with tow missiles. Uh, a couple of those. Let's get some Mephistos, um, a Martyrs. Everybody loves a good martyr, linebacker, and a couple Bradleys. So that's probably good to start for. We're going to set this to aggressive for now. Uh, let's see. You can, since we have two fronts, we have to make a decision. Let's close this a second. Which one is this Hate? So that's we'll go towards Hate first. We're going to change our Hate to aggressive and Tebuga, well, Hate to breakthrough. All right, cool. Uh, next, we've got our aircraft carrier and our LHA. You can click and drag these to move them, so I want them to, you know, start steaming in, which is good. Uh, we're going to go ahead and on the Stennis here, I want at least eight Tomcats. I'm going to get a couple more over here. Get some Hornets. We want a Hawkeye. This is our AWACS. We want a tanker. Get some more Hornets over there. Uh, let's get some Harriers. Uh, which is fine. And then and circlic here. Let's get us... I'm going to buy the cheaper A-10s. Let's buy like six of those. Biggins are kind of cheap too, so let's get four of those. Uh, I'm not going to buy Lancers, they're too expensive. I'm not going to buy a Stratofortress. We'll buy an E3A. Let's get some of those. Let's get some F-15s. Let's get some F-16s. Uh, get some of these here. Let's get some Hornets. Uh, we want a Fueler. It's fine, we only need one Fueler. Um, I'm going to skip my Mirage for now. Let's see what Okay, so that's probably okay. Six. Tomcats. Yeah, that's probably good enough to start with. All right, so we're going to click. All right, so typically what you'd want to do is you'd want to go up to the right-hand side and click Begin Campaign, but I had an issue with that a second ago, and all of a sudden it moved forward to begin campaign. You'll know that you've hit the beginning of the campaign because you'll see turn one at the top here. Um, so now what we need to do is we purchased our units. We need to start building the individual uh, the missions that we're going to be doing. As you'll notice that we have four here uh, for our Apache longbows as opposed to four over here where we said we were buying more. So if we like were to purchase more, we can. Um, but what, what will happen is those will not be available until the next turn. All right, so what we're going to go ahead and do is there are a couple of things. The first is, is that we'll continue to move. I'm going to continue to move our, uh, 
our units here a little bit closer. I always like to have my AWACS get set up first. So we're going to go ahead and click Create. Um, click Save. And what they're going to do is it's going to create a mission for the AWACS. Um, I'm going to move these waypoints where I want them, which isn't too bad. I'm just going to tell it to go over there. Um, and then that will you know, basically allow that AWACS to get created. We can do the same thing over here. AWACS, oh, they don't, they don't have anything. We do have tankers though, add flight. Uh, refueling, we have the strato tanker, which we will create. Say, we're gonna bring these all down over here. And then the first thing that I've noticed is that there is just so much seed. Right there. Well, there's a lot of there's there's just so many uh, to these threat rings, right? So we're gonna want to figure out where uh, we can start getting rid of some of these things. So this is uh, SA six, SA nine, Grumble. So this is probably what we want to start looking at. So we want to do. So if we're just right clicking on these, right? So we're just gonna right click add a flight. I want uh, destruction of enemy air defenses and we can do a couple things, right? So we can say we want a couple of hornets, we want two hornets, we want them to come out of the uh, Stennis. We'll click create. If we double click on the unit, we can select a payload. Um, and so what you'll see is that there is, there are a set of um, like presets of what's available, right? Uh, but if you just want to use your own custom loadout, you can say, yep, I'm going to use a custom loadout. And instead of JSOWs, I want you to have, um, I want some harms, maybe. If I can find them through this list. So all it's basically everything that you can select on a particular pylon. Where is the AGMs? AGM harm. Yep, there we go. Uh, I want you to also have a harm. Uh, maybe I want you to have a fuel pod center line. <sighs> um. Yeah, so that's that's what you can do. And then you can tell it inner, outer board what you want it to do, helmet mounted devices, you can select different. And then for waypoints, if this was a, so you can recreate it as a strike mission. So you could say I want you to be a strike mission and it will actually put objective or um, mission markers on the individual assets. Um, you can recreate it as, you know, a whole host of different things, right? And it'll just change the way that the waypoints are set up. Um, the advanced ones are, if you want to, you can add your own custom waypoints. This is not recommended for AI flights. It'll screw them up. So in this case, we're going to have a couple of um, suppression. We're going to add, uh, we're going to add a couple more folks here. We're going to get a couple Tomcats, and they are going to be escort. Um, and then we will add another flight seed. Uh, Hornets to, um, and so that's our first package, right? And you'll see that it is automatically creating them here. Um, we can adjust these waypoints as we want to. Maybe I don't want them flying all the way out up here because there's no no need to do so. Um, I just want you to go down here and ingress. Uh, the other thing we can do is, uh, let's say that we want some cap. I want cap around my aircraft carrier. We're going to right click on our aircraft carrier, add a flight. Bar cap is great. We're going to do a couple of Tomcats, create, save. 
and now we have a couple of Tomcats and they have this racetrack and you can adjust this racetrack by moving these two waypoints. So let's say that you wanted them closer together. Maybe you want it, you know, over here in like this type of a configuration. Totally up to you. We're going to do the same thing over here. Bar cap, a couple of our eagles. That's great. Um, we're going to come bring these down here like this. And we're going to also do a cap over here. A couple of eagles. There we go. All right. So to run on the front line, we can right click on our front lines. We're going to add flights, close air support. I want a couple of A10s. And we're going to give them a escort of Jeffs. Um, we're going to do add a flight. We'll do close air support with our Apaches. A couple of our Apaches over there. Um, maybe I want to do a strike mission on this hangar here. To strike, we'll grab a couple of Viggins. Um, we're going to add some Jeffs, and they are going to be escorting them. And so you basically can just go out and select what you think are good targets um, to begin with. For instance, I'm going to set up my mission now. I am going to attack... Uh, what do I want to attack? We want to attack... Maybe we're going to go after this early warning radar system. Strike. We're going to do F-18. Uh, we're going to do it off of encyclic. We're going to select our player. I think I selected myself. Yep. So, so you put chemist. It'll automatically select player. Create that. And then I'm going to update my payload. Instead of JDAM, I want... Um, I want slam ERs. And a data link pod. So maybe I want four slams, a data link pod, and then I'll maybe I'll guide two, two or three in. All right, so um, that's where we'll leave it here. I'm going to go ahead and create more, uh, and then we'll we'll on the next video we'll look at how to launch the mission and join it. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you in the next video.